In this video of Form Titan, I will show you how you can work with a calculated control to achieve various tasks. So the first thing we can show you is this. Let's bring in a text box that you can enter some values in and then let's bring in a calculated field. We'll do something basic to say first thing I want it to be string mode. So I'll change it to string mode. Next I want it to say hello and then put text box here and say how are you. Okay. Then click apply. I'll make the calculated field a bit bigger so it will contain enough space. And let's see it in action. Okay, so here is our form. And if I type in Ben, you can see hello Ben, how are you? Quite simple, quite easy, and obviously you can create complex uh, sentences using this calculated field. Now, control. Um, now, let's go and create something better than that. So, the calculated field has got more options like numerics or even function mode. Let's go further into the numeric mode because that's where it's more interesting. Concatenating string is quite simple. So let's bring in from basic input numeric and another numeric. So let's say this is maybe price and this is percent discount. And obviously in the calculator we want to show the total price we're going to give them. So we go here, we change it back to numeric mode and I will say simply price times 1 minus discount. Obviously discount is going to be a percentage, so say 100 divided by and close brackets divided by 100. So let's do that click apply and let's see it in action. So just to make it easier for us, I'll say the price is 100 and the percent discount is 20% and you can see now that the price is 80. That's how simple it is to create all sorts of calculations using the calculated field. But that's not all. Let's say we've got a repeated section. So let me remove the, these for the moment. I'll move this calculated field to the bottom. And let's say we want them to be able to add a few products to our form. So what I'll do is put it here, input, and let's say this is product, and let's say price. Obviously all these can be in hidden fields and things like that as well. Okay, and we want obviously to be able to uh, get the total price they're going to pay. So first thing, let's make the section control repeated and the calculator will be simply price and because it's repeated it will sum it all up for us. Let's see it in action. Okay, so for act let's say A and that's cost 100 and if I click add and that's 20 pounds and maybe Product C cost 99, and you can see the calculations are there. And let's remove the 20, and you can see that the calculation is updated. So that's how easy it is to use the calculated field in terms of calculation for numeric fields. Now, if you want to go back to texts and create some special strings or maybe special calculations using numerics as well. Um, we have the JavaScript mode, this, the function mode. So you go to string mode and you can say product uh, dash price, for example, that's easy. But let's say you want to say, if they didn't fill in the product name, you want to say a default um, text and things like that. So what you can do is you can switch it to function mode. Okay, and here we just write in a JavaScript function if you're familiar with JavaScript, it's quite easy. If not, it's a bit more complicated, but try and bear with me. So the syntax is like that. First brackets, and then you type in function. And obviously the function takes no parameters. 
this is the body of the function, I'll close the brackets and call the function as well. Okay, and now within here, we write our code for the function. So for example, I can say bar price equal that price field, and bar product equals the product field. Great. And now I can say if not product, so if it's empty, I want to set the product to equals default, for example. And then at the end here, we'll just return, forgot semicolon, oops, and we'll just return product is and then price. That's it. And I forgot the class here, of course. But I click apply again and save this time. And if we refresh the page, now we can see if I put A, B, C, and one, two, three, fine. And if I remove A, B, C, you can see default is one, two, three. So the calculated field is quite powerful. You can do a lot with the JavaScript um, function there. And this is just a sample, but there's a lot you can do. You can uppercase it, you can lowercase it. So you got all the string functions, for example. Uh, let's do it quickly. Else I can maybe set the product to be all uppercase. So let's do product dot uppercase. I don't remember if it's lower or I think the C is uppercase as well, but we should soon find out. Let's see. Let's click apply and click save. And if I refresh the page again, and there you go. It's all done. It's that simple to manipulate string and assign them to calculate calculated fields. Thank you very much.